Months ago, we've been monitoring what's happening on the West Coast. Apple CEO Steve Jobs made the expected announcement that Apple will begin renting first-run TV shows for 99 cents a pop, beginning with shows from Fox and from ABC. That was just one of a host of news pieces coming from today's event, including a new smaller Apple TV box, a whole new line of iPods. So great, you get to spend more to get a new one. Joining us now to sort it all through is Krishna Subramani. He's the co-founder of mob clicks good to see you sifra uh, what jumps out at you here apple never disappoints it always comes out with some really juicy piece of news surrounded by some sprinkling of other news but is there something in particular that you think will drive sales even more yeah i mean this this announcement was amazing right because it's the first time apple has really took a stab at invading your living room and how do you make your living room mobile right it's all about content consumption and creation and creating content wherever you are, connecting to it wherever you are and whenever you want. All right, let's talk about this, this announcement today. I mean, did this really surprise you? I mean, I guess doing something new and refreshing the iPod, if you will, which is one of their core brands and one of the originals from Apple, this is probably not a big surprise uh, for you. But do you think that the company needs to do something more when it comes to the, 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 the PC lines, the, uh, the, the Macs, for instance? Yeah, no, I think this, um, you know, this announcement was definitely focused around music and how they can drive those music sales um, in, in those new devices. And we haven't seen, you know, this is the first time to completely refresh the iPods. But I think the, you know, the, the MacBooks and the mini, uh, Mac Minis will definitely be refreshed sooner. But I think what's interesting is this is the first time we've really seen a way to connect across those different devices, right? Being able to see your content from photos on an mm -hmm, iPhone, sure. on an iPod, on a Apple TV on a MacBook. So I think that's the really exciting portion of this. Let me get right to Apple TV. What about it? Okay, so it's got to deal with a couple of networks. That's certainly significant if networks are putting their shoulder behind it. But what does it offer? Does it have a DVR capability? Is it something that would replace what I currently have? Yeah, so it doesn't have, a, you know, so one of the big things that um, Steve Jobs uh, pushed today is not being able to purchase um, content, but being able to rent it. So, you know, bite-sized uh, portions of content, 99 cent shows, you can rent these and watch them multiple times and save a lot more money than if you were gonna purchase this outright. Um, and I think the idea there is you eliminate the storage and capacity issues that some of these DVRs and other things have. Do you think that the Steve, last question, do you think that the Steve Jobs, uh, you know, main event uh, thing has kind of uh, maybe worn a little bit thin with investors? Do you think that we need to see a little something more from Mr. Jobs next time around? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think he's always got something exciting up his sleeve. And, and you know, I think uh, the, the next, maybe at WWDC, will be pretty exciting to see what he has coming out. All right. Well, Krishna, thank you very much. And certainly a big announcement from Apple. We'll see how the stock does the rest of the day. Thank you.